What's up? It's Steve Masters here on Got Game, and we're talking with Chris Kramer about Resident Evil 5. This game is going to hit early next year, right? Yeah, Friday the 13th, March 2009. Looking forward to that. Now uh, let's get into a little gameplay, show people what this game's all about. Yeah, we've got some great stuff to show here. Right now I'm controlling Chris Redfield, who is a returning character in RE5. He was the hero of the original Resident Evil. Um, it's been 10 years since the uh, destruction of Raccoon City in the early Resident Evil games. Chris has gone from working with the STARS organization to working with a new group called the BSAA. Uh, Chris is, the BSAA is dedicated to tracking down and eliminating bioterrorist threats around the world. And so he's actually tracked down the source of the original virus that started everything in Resident Evil 1 to this small African village called Kajuju. Chris is joined in Kajuju by uh, African BSAA agent Sheva Alomar. Interesting thing about Sheva is that she is your co-op partner. Now right now we're just showing single player co-op, so the AI is controlling Sheva. But the great news that we announced here uh, at E3 is that um, Resident Evil 5 is going to be online co-op as well. So for the first time, players will not be alone. Uh, we'll actually have a, a partner to face the terror with them. So it's going to dramatically change the dynamic of uh, the Resident Evil series. So let me give you an example of how the dynamic is going to change. So, right here, Chris and Sheva are being overwhelmed by some enemies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Sheva up on the rooftop. This is HQ, the helicopter's been down. All nearby units proceed to the grave So, uh, I've helped Sheva get up on top of this roof. She's now going to provide cover fire. As all these enemies start pouring out of this building over here, she's going to help me by picking them off from relative safety. Now the enemies are just live humans that have been infected with the virus? It's true. They've been infected by this uh, parasitical virus and it's mutated them grotesquely. You'll see, uh, I'll get in close on one of these guys and you can see what's, what's happened to them. You know, you can see that they're no longer human. There's clearly something wrong with these guys. So watch his face as he, as he grabs me. That's not good. So Sheva has gotten trapped by some of these bad guys, and uh, I've had to provide cover fire. You see the AI is smart enough that she's communicating with you, letting you know what her situation is, so you can step in and uh, uh, help her out when she gets low. She's good. She can do the same thing uh, if she sees you getting attacked. She will also jump in and uh, come help you out. So Sheva on the outside just shot open the lock. Now the two of us are going to make a break for it because the uh, the villagers are closing in from all sides, and uh, it's not looking good. So we're going to see if we can get through this gate. That's not good. It wouldn't be Resident Evil without a little chainsaw action though, would it? It wouldn't be Resident Evil without a masked maniac wielding the most terrifying chainsaw ever created. I don't know if you got a chance to look at that chainsaw closely, but it's got these jagged, wicked teeth. I don't think that was ever actually designed for cutting down trees. It's clearly something for rending flesh. So. A lot of explodable uh, oil cans and such. Yeah, all sorts of destructible elements of the environment. You saw earlier I was actually shooting holes in doors to, um, to uh, look and see what was inside before running in the door. I wanted to make sure that um, there was nothing lurking on the other side. Uh -oh. is, that, is that chainsaw guy kind of a mini boss? Yeah, exactly. He's, um, he's very similar to uh, the chainsaw character in Resident Evil 4. You could kill him, but he's very tough. For this demo, he's virtually invulnerable because uh, they pretty much want the, uh, the player to end right here. There you go, and that's Resident Evil 5. Hey, thanks a lot, Chris, for uh, showing us Resident Evil 5, and uh, we look forward to seeing this March 13th in 2009. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming out.